And welcome back, WZMB Nation, to another episode of On The Mall, but it's a very special episode because it is a... Spooky episode. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm DJ Charles here, accompanied by DJ... A-Town. Yeah, shout out to DJ... DJ Breezy, we love you. Who's on the <laughs> back working the camera, so shout out to you and shout out to the subject tank. They'll be out later, aren't weren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm DJ A-Town, and I'm joined by... Ellie. And Casey. And so, go ahead, ask the first question. Okay. Uh, what are your Halloween plans? Uh, I am hosting a Halloween party. Fun. Um, I may go out. You may go Have out. Have fun. Yep. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, what are you guys going to dress up as for Halloween? Alice in Wonderland. Oh, cute. Uh, you may see Elvis walking around. <laughs> and I'm here joined by... Marley. Okay, well, Marley, we're asking some Halloween questions. So, with that being said, what, what are you... Okay, first off, what are you doing for Halloween? Um, Halloween, I will be here dressing up, going out, hanging out with my friends. Yeah. Okay, what are you dressing up as? This year, I'm going to be a firefighter. Okay. Firefighter and a vampire. Don't huh? have a third. Probably just borrow someone's. <laughs> I am here with uh, Samuel. And so, I'm asking you a couple questions. All right. What horror movie do you think that you could survive? Um, I'd like to say Screamed. Like, I mean, Jenna Ortega is mm-hmm, there, mm-hmm. so I mean, I'm hoping like Jenna Ortega will protect me. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I love Jenna Ortega, especially like in the last couple years. Yes, like I loved seeing her in Wednesday and in um, mm-hmm. the Taste music video. Yes, like, oh so my god. <laughs> and I'm here with Dr. Mary Tucker McLaughlin. All right, Dr. Mary, so what are your Halloween plans? I don't have any Halloween plans. <laughs> you don't? You don't have no. anything you're doing? I'm so lame. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, what are you going to dress up as? Are you at least going to dress up? I thought about maybe dressing up at school, um, but I'm going to have to think about what that's going to look like. Okay, yeah. okay. Now I am joined with... I'm Alonis. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ask you a few questions. Uh, what are your Halloween plans this year? I'm going to stay in my bed, tucked in, 9 o'clock ready, go to sleep, because I have work to do. <laughs> at 9 o'clock? Yeah, I go to bed early, get up early. <laughs> I have a million things to do, but I- yeah. Do you at least have a costume? I do. I have like a bee. I found on Amazon for 20 bucks. Uh-huh. It's literally just a bee costume with like a little hat. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> That'll be cute. All right. I am joined with Jamie Day and Maria. I'm just going to ask you guys a couple questions. So what horror movie, if you were in one, do you feel like you could survive? Um, I think I could probably survive The Purge because I would just probably steal and then hide out in the woods until it was over <laughs> um and let's see what's your favorite horror movie just in general oh i really love ed and lorraine uh warren so i love the conjuring movies those are pretty good yeah. i would probably um, say scary movie one through three <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if those count i've never it might be a hot take i've never seen those movies oh they're good they're I funny I okay. <laughs> so you know the Conjuring movies, I love them. Mm, they Ed, scare the guy me. who plays Ed too. He's fine. I'm sorry, he's fine. <laughs> All right, and I'm joined by Trent Amadeo. Um, and so Trent, what are you going to be for Halloween this year? For Halloween, I'm going to be a skeleton. A skeleton? Mm-hmm. Do you have any plans at all for Halloween? Uh, just bounce around, see what I can get into. Mm-hmm. What about the creepiest thing that you've seen on campus? see anything paranormal no but I've seen a lot of people get arrested that is pretty scary <laughs> that's pretty scary I think that's the scariest thing I've seen so far <laughs> or my professor walking around that's the, it you see him out in the wild <laughs> yeah um let's see if the zombie apocalypse started right now what would your game plan be I would call my mom call your mom <laughs> I would call my mom <laughs> please pick me up that's what I would do I Santa for everything call your mom it's Halloween I'm scared Right. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, y'all have a good day. <laughs> you too. And welcome back, and I'm here with... Ariel. All right, Ariel. So, we're asking Halloween questions. So, what are you doing for this Halloween? So, this Halloween, I plan to dress up as a goddess, and me and my friends are doing Magic Mike, which I think will be really fun. We plan to just go to the frats, meet a lot of people, and have a great time. 
and being safe. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> a little, a little bit of enthusiasm yeah. at the end. Um, what's the weirdest costume that you guys have seen on campus so far? You take this one. <laughs> uh, there was a dude outside of Legacy about a year ago. He was in a mask sitting on the front porch. I don't know who that guy was, but he was really creepy. <laughs> you, you don't know who that guy I was? I don't know who it was. What was he dressed up as? Some type of, I think the Momo, like that thing that was going on a couple years ago. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was very creepy. I don't know who he is. I hope he's doing good though. It was Casey. It was Casey. <laughs> I am joined by Eliana. So Eliana, if you were in a horror movie, what movie would it be and how would you survive it? I think it would be the Scream movie and I have a plan that like I would just get in a car and like go as far as I can. Like how is he gonna like know that I'm gone? True. I mean like honestly that's how I feel for a lot of horror <laughs> movies. Like you just drive away, don't yeah, even engage. That's what I'm, that's probably what I would do. That's probably <laughs> the best, easiest thing. So Well, sounds like you've got it all planned out for Halloween. <laughs> Thank you so much for of answering course. this. And happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Alright, and I'm back here with Jackson. Elijah. Alright, and so the question for today is what are you guys doing for Halloween? Uh, hanging out with some friends, probably going out. I don't know where yet. Got some friends coming down from back home. Okay, where are you from? Uh, we're from Virginia. Oh, y'all are from Virginia? Yeah, we're from Waynesburg. Oh, okay. I went there actually in the summer for Virginia Beach. Yeah, yeah. yeah we go we're like an hour from there. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, that's a nice beach. Very nice beach. Now, what are you guys dressing up for Halloween as? Uh, I don't really know yet. I think probably just a prisoner, the basic. Okay. Chiropractor. Chiropractor? Okay. Why, why a chiropractor? Crack bags. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? What about if the zombie apocalypse started right now? A zombie apocalypse? Yeah, what would your game plan be? Ooh, like, I mean, like, what kind of zombies are you talking Like, um, what's all that, um, what's that, um, that series? Like, 28 like, Days Later? Like, the one with, uh, is it Bella Ramsey? <laughs> oh. I feel like I know what you're talking about. Yeah. All I can think about, like, if they had, like, the running zombies, I would mm. not survive. Like, I'd be dead. Yeah. I don't <laughs> know if I, like, I'm I just, like, keep running, trying to find, like, safe places. Mm -hmm. um, like, go out in the wilderness, try to, like, I don't know, hunt it for food or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, she's got it all planned out. <laughs> okay. Now, if you were in a movie, what would be a movie that you'd be on that you'd think you'd survive? I think I would survive Chucky because I wouldn't be scared. I wouldn't be scared of him. He's a doll. Come on. I you know, I'm actually him. dressing up as him. Are you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Hi, that's funny. Yeah, and he's right here. So. He is right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Okay. what's your favorite Chucky movie? What's the one with him and his wife or like the other oh, one? The, uh, the bride or whatever? Yes, that was my favorite. Do you know Glenn know Glenda? Who... No. I'm not like a huge um, like Chucky fan. Don't put me on Chucky the nerd. I'm a Chucky are nerd, so something? yeah. He had a son. That one. That one. Whichever one that one is. Okay. Well, thank you for doing this of short course. interview. And uh, happy Halloween. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Um, now, I was going to ask y'all, what is the creepiest thing y'all have seen on campus or even outside of campus? Creepiest? I don't even know. Or the or the craziest? Uh, probably the other day we were just sitting around just chilling and some guy walked up to us. And uh, oh, yeah. it was just... A little crazy, but he, he had, just got out of jail. I yeah, think. He, I'm not really sure what's going on with him. I was kind of confused, but he had like a. I was kind of scared for my safety, but because he, he had like an ankle monitor and he was kind of like slurring his words, but yeah, it was an interesting experience. Was this on campus? Yeah. yeah Wait, really? Scared. Yeah, it was a I was kind of scared, but. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I'm finding out about EC. Is there anything creepy you've seen? Or anything creepy you've done? I haven't seen or done anything but I did I did own a haunted piano for okay, a while. You, okay tell me more about that <laughs> so I bought it off of Facebook marketplace and when they delivered it the guy said well I, I gotta tell you something about this piano at one o'clock every morning this particular key drops okay <laughs> right and I was like, what? I mean, the piano is only 50 bucks. So I'm like, oh, it'll be fine, right? <laughs> so I take the piano, and it actually happened for like three weeks of my house, and then it stopped. And you still own it? No, I got rid oh, of okay. it. okay. <laughs> I got rid of it. Okay. Um, 
but yeah yeah it was probably dated back to like the 1900s or something but that key did drop so what would you okay so what would you say to someone who owns like a haunted object I don't know. I I tried to rationalize it that it was probably some kind of scientific thing that had to do with humidity or something, (laughs) you know, right? That there really wasn't some kind of paranormal being in my house, in my piano. So, I mean, I I guess, you know, that's the advice I would give is just try to find find out the scientific reason behind what's going on. Mm. Um, but, But, you know, then again, there may not be a scientific reason. So, there you have it. Well, it looks like Dr. Mary is no longer being haunted. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. And have a happy Halloween. You too.